What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to start our own clothing brand. Dread Labs. Alright, so this has been a long time coming and I've been wanting to do this ever since I started Dread Labs and day is finally here. We are going to start our own clothing brand. In this video series, I will give you the full process of me creating a clothing collection for Dread Labs. Uh, from concepting until designing until promoting everything there's one thing though uh, from the next episode onwards these videos will be recaps and the full videos will be available in a new tier on patreon this new patreon tier will also give you the opportunity to get direct feedback from me when starting your own clothing brand all right so before we get into designing manufacturing and everything like that there's two important questions that i think you should ask when you start your own clothing brand and that's how and why. Let's start with why. As you probably know, there's a lot of small streetwear brands all over the world. And the main important question that I think you should ask yourself is, what are you all about and what do you have to offer? You should really ask yourself what your core values are, whether that will be handmade prints, uh, sustainability, uh, just unique designs, experimental stuff, just find out what you are about as a clothing brand and what makes you different from everybody else. What do you as a brand have to offer for, to the rest of the world or to your community and to your niche? And what makes you so different from all the other brands? And that's a really important question and asking yourself that you should be really hard on yourself. And what I mean by that is by saying your designs are inspired by anime or uh, you use sustainable packaging. In my opinion, that's just not enough. And I know it's a little bit hard to do that, but but this is just an important question that you should ask yourself when you start a business. And in this case, starting a streetwear brand or starting a clothing collection, in my case, is starting a business. So in my case, my brand's already established because that's Dread Labs. But what I want to do is I want to base my clothing collections on store sharing. So if you don't know, I did a live stream a while ago where I did a world building exercise. And in this video, we created a fictional world with Dread Labs. So in this fictional universe, there's a lot of things that happen and there are also and they're all a little bit like futuristic, sci-fi like. But basically it's a story world that I, together with my subscribers on livestream, uh, created. And I want to base all of my clothing collections in the future around something in this fictional world. So my brand will be all about story sharing, uh, but in multiple ways. And what I mean by that is, of course, because I am Dreadlabs and I sh I'm sharing my creative processes with you. Story sharing in this case also means sharing my process of creating my actual garments or creating my actual brand. So those are the core values that I'm going to work with for my Dreadlabs brand. So yeah, guys, really ask yourself, what do you have to offer? What makes you different? And what do you think is the most important thing when starting a clothing brand? In regards to being unique or being different, it's also really good to do a little bit of research on which brands are already are, what makes brands work, and what can you change to the game in terms of what these brands already do and what you can do better. So the next big question is the how. How are you going to start this brand? Because uh, so with these core values, it's also really good to think about how you are going to establish this brand. So for example, if you're all about sustainability, it's probably not a good idea to uh, create big bulk orders, having overstock, using a lot of plastic or using a lot of like non-ecological fabrics, uh, stuff like that. So make sure that the way you are going to do it really matches up with what you are all about. And this does not always have to be something that's set in stone. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you're all about sustainability, uh, you can either do print on demand slash drop shipping, which, uh, which I will get into a bit further in the next video, or you can just, just do handmade upcycled stuff, which is also like sustainable. So there's a lot of ways that you can actually go about creating clothing, uh, manufacturing it or shipping it bringing it everywhere so all of these ways i will go further into detail in a future video and i'm going to try to talk to people who actually have a brand that's that buys in bulk i want to talk to people working with drop shipping slash uh, print on demand i want to talk to people who upcycle their clothing and let's just see what we come across on the way and see where we go from here with our dreadlabs brand okay so now that we have the how and the why questions i encourage you to write them down and answer them as thoroughly as possible all right, so let me just tell you a bit more about the Dreadlabs brand or the story world that I was talking about earlier in the video. Uh, so, so far we have a fictional world, the Dreadlabs universe actually, and it's a post-apocalyptic planet which is mostly like deserted and all the inhabitants of the world uh, got together in really, really big cities because most of the planet is basically like a big desert now. And in these deserts roam insane people we're actually coping with major depressions and they're kind of like mutated crazy people and there's a giant bunker underneath the desert which houses the dread labs in which scientists live to 
uh, find a cure for super depression, basically. So in these giant cities, there are a lot of raves there. And the first collection I want to get into is about these raves. And these are fictional raves. So basically these raves revolve in rooms which you can stand on every surface on the room. So you can even stand on the ceiling and on the walls. Uh, this way the crowds get even more crowded uh, and there's like an overdose of light effects, visuals. And the DJ is basically uh, grounded to the floor because he's in a mech suit and a mech suit is like a DJ device. Uh, if you want to go into further detail about this, there's a world building live stream. I'll put the link up in the description and you'll see the full process of how we made this. So that's a premise I'm going to work on for the coming videos. And uh, basically what we're going to do in the next video is try to establish that a little bit further because I want to have my concept right before I start diving into manufacturing and designing. One of the ideas I had is, let's say that this DJ is like really famous and Basically, we can get the tees to look like it's merged for this mech suit DJ robot thing. And that would be really cool to design, I think, because we can try to do something in 3D. There's also like a fictional drug that I made. If you watch the world building video, you'll see what that's all about. It would be cool to see if we can do some jewelry connected to these drugs. Maybe like some cautionary t-shirts like that are like from the organization, like don't take too much of these drugs, you know, stuff like that. So I really want to implement this futuristic take on old school raves, but I, I, but I really want it to be based on the story that I want to share with Dread Labs. And I think it would be cool to if we, for example, make a 3D model of the, the robot mech suit, uh, that we can also use this in visuals uh, for DJ sets and then we can promote the clothing in DJ sets. Uh, it's stuff like that that I like to talk, think about, try to make this story into a bigger thing than only the clothing. And that's where I think my, my own core values lie, because I like to think that I'm specialized in multiple aspects of design or creativity. And that's entrepreneurship, but also graphic design, 3D modeling, and even music. So yeah, I think that's the premise that we're going to go on, and let's see if we can do a video next time in which we try to think of the concept. We're going to do some sketches, maybe even some 3D modeling, and like I said, in the coming videos, uh, there will be a recap on YouTube and the full videos will be available on Patreon in a new tier. So with that being said, I want to thank my patrons for supporting me. Uh, because of my patrons, I'm actually able to make these videos for you guys. So more patrons to me means more Dreadlabs content. So if you become a patron, there's two tiers now. One will get you access to all of the project's files for my tutorials, a 15% discount and a Dreadlabs Discord role. And this new tier will get you access to this exclusive video series, as well as some time for personal feedback from me and access to the project files of this video series as well. So if you want to become a patron, there's a link in the description. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or you can join us on Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.